Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. Let's send it down to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis for the call. Challenge goals. Entering screen for Zoom. Adam Benatieri set to kick off. Now the elder statesman of the NFL, Adam Vinatieri, set to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be captained by one of the greats of all time at quarterback, it's Drew Brees. Total relentlessness of consistency, almost like a machine. If you watch him in practice after every throw, he resets his feet, visualizes all the other options on a play. So if he has to do it in a game, it's already there, has the muscle memory. I start calling him AI for artificial intelligence. Whatever defense does during a game, he absorbs it and then uses it against them as the game moves on. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. On the draw, P. Ryan. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. From the gun, it's Breeze. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Intended for Ian Thomas, incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And taken right at the 35. The field flipper there, a 47-yard punt coupled with a loss on the return. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering some I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Breeze now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. Breeze. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's second and inches at the 24-yard line. On play action, it's Breeze. This is brought in by Gibson. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Mean Joe Green. Gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Throwing on second and long. Breeze. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. With no score. 
Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Brings up second and one. At the Favre on second down. Oh, he'll take a shot. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Right back to him on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. Entering screen resume. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. First down and 10 at their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Shotgun now for Breeze. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. To try again after the sack. Breeze. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So troubles here offensively. I tell you, the noise in this dome, that has got to make it harder for these guys to hear. Sometimes I find myself shouting up here. But you're right, if you can't communicate well or get off the snap count properly, it can cause big problems, and this qualifies as a big problem. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Do what you do. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing is far. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey downfield. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Vikings. And McCaffrey 
65 yards. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. Mike Zimmer's made the decision. His guys will go for two. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no, your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage? and maybe go for The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think those? The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Throwing on second and long. Breeze looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And it's third down. Now Breeze on third down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Breeze now on first down. His throw incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. Landon Collins on the coverage. Breeze to throw again. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On first and 10, here's Breeze. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and that takes us from second to third down. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. A final shot before half for Breeze. And a little floater there is incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of this. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Barron's nothing. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. 
Brings up second and nine. At the 50 yard. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Oh, bowls right over him. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. At the six-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Breeze now. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Mean Joe Green. My goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third down. Now Breeze. And it's complete to Adams. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and run for it, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards to pick up there. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Get it, get it, get it. 
Here's Breeze to throw. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. And Reed comes flying in from safety for the sack. Going for it all. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Bree's going to throw. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Bree's going to go on fourth down. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Oh, he'll take a shot from a... And that's caught inside the 35. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Favre to throw. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. And now it's second down. To throw is far. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Johnson the intended target, but now it'll be third down. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now far. It's caught. Jones. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on. But apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. Set to kick off. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. -yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 